Samsung has announced a new 200 megapixel image sensor, the ISL Cell HP3. Samsung's very own imaging sensor that features the industry's smallest pixels. The HP3 isn't Samsung's first 200 megapixel image sensor. The company announced the ISL Cell HP1 last fall, and we recently saw some real world images captured with that 200 megapixel sensor. Jun Seo Yim, Executive Vice President of Sensor Business Team at Samsung Electronics quoted, With our latest and upgraded ISO Cell HP3, Samsung will push on to deliver epic resolutions beyond professional levels for smartphone camera users. Better resolutions beyond professional levels, and that for smartphone camera users? Can a smartphone camera sensor fulfill a professional's detailed needs? On the other hand, is professional sensors even needed on smartphone cameras? Find out in today's video. To avoid nerdy stuff, you just gotta know. Like the ISOCELL HP1, the HP3 has an oversized Bayer pattern with Tetra 2 technology. This allows the camera to combine groups of 16 photo sites to deliver 12.5 MP images with effective 2.24 pixels. It also uses a process Samsung calls remosaicing, which enables the sensor to combine pixels to deliver improved performance in low light. As for video, the HP3 records 8K resolution video at up to 30 frames per second and 4K video at up to 120 frames per second. There's minimal loss in the field of view when recording 8K footage, but it's unclear what precise crop factor will occur. Now on to why mobile cameras are increasing in popularity. First of all, mobile phones are small. Size and weight is an important topic for photographers, especially if you tend to go on longer hikes and expeditions. There's a reason why many photographers switched to mirrorless cameras when they first arrived. Could it be that the same people move to mobile phones when the camera quality matches today's camera? Secondly, everyone has a smartphone and they're getting more accessible than ever. And with the improving image quality, We've already seen it do a knockout on the point and shoot cameras. Next, edit and share instantly. Being able to share the image instantly after capturing it has become an important factor for many. Apps such as Adobe Lightroom CC or Google Snapseed make it possible to give an enhanced look to your photograph in next to no time before uploading it to one or more platforms. And finally, image quality on smartphones are quickly improving. The image quality has come a long way in a short time and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. They now don't have good sensors and optics, but also have greatly helped with AI. For this reason, today's smartphone cameras are better than many 5-year-old mid-range DSLR cameras. You also have to keep in mind that with DSLR and mirrorless, you're getting raw footage that has not been altered with. Now is a professional camera sensor needed on a smartphone? Well, the answer lies in what a professional photographer wants and what he does. Surely they need details. For this higher megapixels and HDR is welcome. But don't even get started with many phones have cameras with 48 to 108 megapixels, because we all know these cameras use quad Bayer filter, which means they have been designed to shoot 12 megapixel images, but do allow for 48 megapixel bragging rights. This is where DSLR and mirrorless cameras take the front line with large sensors and actual output. A camera remains one step up. I believe many photographers will start their journey with a mobile camera, but once they get more into photography and want to get better, they invest in a mirrorless camera. A camera remains a more professional tool than a smartphone. There are also many models to choose between. When buying a smartphone, you're most likely going to buy the one that is the best all-rounder. You want one that is quick, easy to use, has all the apps you need, and has a good camera and runs smoothly. The best camera phones aren't necessarily the best mobile phones. When choosing a DSLR or mirrorless, you can choose between many models and find the one that best meets your requirements. A camera is a camera, nothing more. Finally, lenses make a difference. Any professional photographer knows the importance of high quality optics. You're much more flexible when using a camera and can use different lenses for different purposes. So that was our thought. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, consider subscribing.